it's amazing. You know, once you do that and you put it all back together, fires right up, 50, 75 oil, pounds of oil pressure. It's like, hey, that if was all notice, it was. If you notice, actually, in some of the earlier motors, they actually have a priming plug on the plug just before the oil pump on the back of the block. Ah, yeah, that's right. right. That's what that was originally there for, is to prime it up. Ah, interesting. These are old tractor engines. <laughs> Well, I think they're lawnmower motors. <laughs> High speed well, lawnmower. Um, so uh, we set the ignition timing. Uh, we uh, broke in the cam and or we got our oil pressure from a motor that's been sitting for a long time. Um, uh, Jeremy? Yeah, yes. A couple of them. A motor that's been sitting for a long time. Yeah. Um, just my, my practice would be take the valve cover off. Oh, yes. Yes. Lubricate the rocker shaft. Yeah. Yeah. And lubricate down the push rod holes. Oh sure. And squirt some into the springs and get it on the uh, on the on Valve. the guides. Yeah. Valve yeah. Springs, yeah. Sure. Yeah, because it's all dry up there. Yeah. Uh, you, you know. When you uh, do this oil thing, make sure you pull some of your breaking oil over the back of your rocker so that oh, yeah. you're on the push rods because yeah. that way you, you get a shot right at your cam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially if you have the old type tappets oh, yeah. that have the oil, yeah. oil hole in them. That's right. Rather than the newer ones that don't seem to have them in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have probably, after you uh, have run the motor, um, it's time to retorque the head and adjust the valves again. Um, it's just good practice. You know. You'll find that they're all loose after you run them first, and then you got to retorque them always. Oh yeah. It's part of part of procedure. If you look at it, look in the factory manual. Yep. So we just uh, fired up a new motor, and we were running it and uh, driving it, and I think we probably just for fun checked the torque on the head and the valve adjustment again and again, and we must have done it a half a dozen times just to see did, how much did it really change. It did. It changed a lot, um, you know, because everything's wearing in and breaking in, and it was, you know, all new parts. So uh, they're going to change. So it's really, I mean, I don't think you can adjust the valves enough. Especially Just keep checking. Especially with these rocker assemblies here, because they have the wrong size screw. That's true. But they, don't, they, they don't fit the push rod. They fixed well. it. What we're, uh, what we're pointing to is uh, the roller rocker assemblies. We've had lots of. The manufacturers really screwed up, and they made these pushrod balls uh, too big. <laughs> they didn't sit down inside the pushrod, and so we were getting uh, inaccurate valve adjustments. And it was like, this thing will not adjust. What's going on? It was these things. Well, since then, they've changed. They fixed the problem. They're all they measure out properly. We checked them, and so they're all working. Uh, mini Sport, Mini Sparis, um, Titan, they all, they copied somebody who was wrong. <laughs> they all knock off each other, right? So, uh, yeah, but now they're now they're right. Those are, those things, those roller tip rockers are a uh, godsend to where any of these minis can come to it. Cause the original lift on those things are a little lower than what the big camshafts are now, and just not made, just not made so the tip to the rocker is actually right over the end of the, uh, the valve stem and they wear holes in your rocker. You ever seen that in a set of rockers where the rocker will actually go back and forth on the tip of the rocker and so it wears a hole in the tip on the uh, rocker itself? The pad, yeah. Yeah, it's just because of the fact that the way they, the way they the lift, lift is more now than what it was designed for to begin with, and so they have to push and pull a little bit. So those roller tips roll over the end instead, of which keeps the valve, valve uh, guide in better shape because other than that, the valve guide wears out at, uh, prematurely because they have to they pull the valve back and forth, basically. If you so do, those are real good. Those are real good things. If you do bolt on a set of 1.5 roller rockers, don't just bolt them on and fire up your motor. When you're adjusting the valves, you got to check what's called coil binding. Um, we just threw a set of 1.5s on, and it had a pretty radical camshaft in the motor, and we saw that the uh, valve spring 
was actually coil binding. Um, my machinist told me that we need at least 60 thou clearance between the coil at full rip. Um, these were compressing to the point where you couldn't even get a feeler gauge in there. We're like, uh oh, don't run these. <laughs> we, we, we can't run these. So um, those, they don't always work depending on your camshaft. So uh, got to make sure you don't coil bind if you put some 1.5s on. And you got to make sure your valves are not hitting your pistons, of course, because they are uh, pushing the valve deeper. Um, they do increase your, your lift. So anyway, I don't know how we got on roller rockers. Thanks, Ward. I really like those just because of that. It's sort of an engineering, engineering way of getting around a, a problem that the motor actually has. And uh, probably get well, twice, twice the wear out of your valve guys because you have those on there than not just because of the fact that they have that problem of pushing and pulling on the top of the valve snail. Cooper S's when they were brand new, you'd be lucky to get 30,000 miles out of them with a valve job because they pushed and pulled on them. And actually, 32 thousand, you probably, but 28 thousand, you should just take the head apart, replace the valve guides and everything, put it all back together again. Because other than that, at, at 35 or 40 thousand, they get so loose they end up cracking the cylinder head. Ah. Just because of that pushing and pulling. Was that on the AEG 163? Yeah, the stock, the stock stock camshaft and what have you. Just as they rolled off the showroom floor, they had that they had that problem basically. Mm -hmm. To be able to get any valve valve guide life out of them, uh, you almost had to use something like these roller tip rockers, which they didn't have to begin with. But part of the reason why they were invented for the mini in the first place is because they had that problem. Yeah. An engineering way of getting around an engineering problem. Well, and that, that's a good segue to, you know, some of the top 10 bolt-on items. Now, I didn't randomly select these parts to set out or try and sell you guys stuff. Most of you guys already have all this anyway. 